just now. And now we have our next presenter. We have um, Philip Enno Fuentes Laksa from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So yeah, Philip is here already. Philip is also one of the inventor wannabe grand awardee. And Philip is a Filipino homeschooler based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He's a young boy with a big heart whose interests ranges from a variety of creative things. He's especially fond of creating STEM projects or toys from recycled materials. Wow. At his young age, he has already conducted a STEM workshop. Wow, that's great, Lud. Hi, Philip. Are you ready to share, Philip? So, okay. So we have Gregorio Zara here now. Right. Can you see? Yes, perfect. We can see, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Filipino Klaxa, a Filipino based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I'm a third grade homeschooler of Victory Christian International School. I enjoy baking, crafting, playing instruments, and learning karate. Today, I'll be sharing my inventor on the pitch as Gregorio Zara. Can you imagine a time when you'd be able to talk and see your loved ones from across the world without even going there? How about being able to meet with great minds to work on innovative, collaborative projects without having to spend a penny on airfare? That was my dream. Hello, I'm Gregorio Zara. Filipino engineer and scientist. I have 30 inventions under my name, but today I'll be talking about the first two-way television telephone, aka the video phone, which was patented in 1955. I come from Batangas, Philippines, and was blessed to earn my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at the uni in Massachusetts Institute of Technology and my master's degree in aeronautical engineering at the University of Michigan. I'm one of thousands, maybe even millions of people around the world who experience being away from family to pursue the education and career. That's why I invented the video phone. The video phone was the first of its kind to allow people to see who they're talking to in real time. It paved the way for big telecommunication companies like AT&T to make a commercial version called the Picture Phone in the 1960s. I can see a digital era fast approaching. The video phone will help people who are hearing impaired to communicate from a distance and will enable distance learning and will empower working together from anywhere in the world. The possibilities are endless. That was the end of my pitch. <laughs> I chose Gregorio Zara because I wanted to showcase the opportunity of the talent of the Filipino people. One article mentioned that he was the father of video conferencing. I found Gregorio Zara interesting because the video phone has played a crucial role in the, in the past two years when most of us were stuck in our homes. You can see now that video calling has evolved into video conferencing, such as Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, FaceTime, Messenger, Google Hangouts, and many, many more. Aside from the video phone, he also discovered the physical law of electrical kinetic resistance called the Zara effect. He invented an airplane engine powered by alcohol he improved methods of producing and harnessing solar energy. He helped design the robot Max X10, which could walk, talk, and respond to commands. He invented the solar powered water heater and stove, and he also invented the vapor chamber, used to visualize radioactive elements. I enjoyed the process of learning how to research, write persuasively, make a presentation, and act act out the character. 
I may not fully understand the complexities of Gregorio Zara's invention yet, but his work showed me that he was ahead of his time with ideas that he constantly wanted to improve the way people live through technology. And just like the heart of global innovation field trip, my research on this particular inventor coming from a small country like the Philippines showed that creativity and innovation is for every person. Thank you, Kriya and Global Innovation Field Trip for this wonderful opportunity. You are a character. You are a really unique character. Yeah. Well done. How old are you, Philip? Uh, I am nine. Wow, that's great. And you look really smart. You look really intelligent. And I loved your presentation. I loved, I loved the, you know, the design of the presentation. Have you done this Thank yourself? You. Uh, I had a little help from my brothers. Wow, that's great. Well done. Yeah, I, I have I haven't I didn't know that this guy was a Filipino guy who invented you know, without him we couldn't do this presentation now. It's a simple great idea, to know. it sprouted and sprouted into other, you know, yeah applications and that's great. Uh, me, me too, Claude. I just found out that he's a Filipino also from uh, Philip Sharing. So, yeah, that's very great. That's really great. And yeah. what was the difficult part of, of your research? What do you think was the difficult part? I couldn't get much information because when I tried to search, I was like, Hmm, I need to get some information, this specific information, but I couldn't really get it because Google wasn't really telling me the specific information and I had to research. So I think that was the hard part. Yeah, you need to read uh, really a lot of things to get just one information or you can practice more to know the keywords that you need to, you know, because the Google um, search is really specific. You have to mention one word or two words, which are the keywords. Then your search will get smarter, and you will know that. You know, it, once you do it more and more, you will learn how to get the right information really fast. Well done. Well, that's amazing. Really glad to have you here, Philip. Thank you. Thank you.